Oh hell yeah! Yes, retro. <laughs> Super Nintendo time. Zelda games stretch widescreen. <laughs> <laughs> and what? modern games not wide. Col screen. Column boxed. <laughs> what does that have to do with let's plays it, or video games? What does anything, any of this, have to do with anything? There's nothing in that box. Oh yes. Fusion Media Hub 2.0. Yes. So much better than the original. D twice as thirsty. Are you serious? is here, and of course you're riding along with the usual suspects. Fusion here's Media here's Hub from my Fusion Media Bathtub 2.0. <laughs> we're doing a retro review, which is uh, something we haven't done in weeks. First one in a long man, what retro oh, game man. is it? Sonic? Mega Man? They, they must have gone way back to find a good retro game. Like something off the Commodore, yeah. maybe. Prove their cred. And uh, he, he swears by it. You know, it's, it's very underrated. So, Josh, tell the good people what game it is. We have Okami. Oh, what? man. I remember when Okami came out for the Atari 2600. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this game came out five years ago, you idiots. Five years doesn't count as retro. Let me just see how uh, well, underrated you, uh, Okami is. Hmm. And uh, enter the strange world. That oh is God damn! Are you serious? Intuitive borders. Yeah. Um, obviously, starting with the graphics, of course. Strange. That's all I can say. I mean, from the the intro video on, you're just the first thing that's going to catch your eye. Yeah, are the graphics. An, a very underrated game with a meta score of 93 out of 100 and a user score of 9.2. Yeah, very Not underrated. a lot of people like that. Art direction, and that's obviously worth something, even if it wasn't for you. You know, you can still look at this and appreciate it for what it is. It's basically a bunch of paintings put together. No! That's what the game appears to me to be, anyway. It appears. Just after you think after the game where you interact with the world by a, a, a paintbrush <laughs> is like a painting. After thorough investigation, I have deduced that the art style of Okami is similar to ink wash paintings. <laughs> the results are in. Just how well that flows in the game itself is spectacular. The variety of environments too. I noticed it was just. Oh yeah, that one field, and then the other field. Yeah. And then the town on the side of the field. And then the cave. Oh, Remember the cave? Damn. So much different than the field, because it's a cave. It all looks so different, and and the way one thing I really noticed is the way that you're going along, going along, and all of a sudden something appears. You know what I mean? And it's very. One thing I really noticed was graphical pop in, and I love it. I love pop in. It's great. Things always happening. That. The environment's very dynamic. It's always changing, yes. and um, I'm giving this nine trophies. Trophies? It is so well done. And <laughs> How are they going to carry all those trophies? Center. Trophies are heavy. I don't know, because I've been no, 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 they're they're like PS3 trophies. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay, I guess. Oh, by the way, Jerry's talking. If you couldn't tell by his have, have his damn name circled. But anyways, getting onto the sound. The sound is. I can't really say the sound is equally impressive because it's not, but it's it is good. The sound is good. This game really <laughs> focuses on a lot of Japanese culture. <laughs> the sound blows. The sound oh. is awful. I give it 7.57 7 yeah. trophies. Yeah, but the, the sound is very subtle. The music is very subtle when you're running through the grass, when you're in a cave. It's not overbearing. It's just, right. it's there. And it's, I, I want to say it's kind of relaxing. <laughs> Okay. However, there are times of intensity. Oh yeah. Couldn't Especially they like I don't know edit in running through yeah. grass no. or a boss race battle race while mentioning it? Battle was going on and it's just intense. I mean Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> this music's very relaxing. The boss fights are intense. And rightfully so. A lot of similarities, uh, but the sound effects are very creative from uh, the enemies. Or they could at least use I don't know video of them not screwing the hell up. I know. <laughs> I'm really pondering on getting this for Wii, uh, just because it's such a Whoa, whoa, is Jerry talking or is Hugh? I'm confused. I don't know. Oh, what do you think okay, now it's Hugh. Great editing, guys. Oh, wow, guys. Um, the proper word I'd say to describe a Kami would be innovative, I'd say. And yeah, I hate your voice. <laughs> I got a feeling you went through the entire dictionary word by word until it came upon innovative. <laughs> <laughs> really good level design, of course. C couldn't they send Hugh one of their $3,000 boom mics? <sighs> and puzzles, which I personally really love, look, as I'm an avid fan of all Look, look Hugh, it's a video game, it's not fine wine, okay? 
<laughs> You're not eating cheese and wine and talking about Helter Skelter. I'm a, I'm a connoisseur of retro games from five years ago. Mm, yes! They do help the story and are really, really fun too. So I was why? only born in 2000. Um, you're in control of something called the Celestial Brush, which really, really uses the Wii Remote control well as well. He was a pod person that was developed specifically for reviewing video games. <laughs> he knows nothing else. His birthday was the release date of MGS4. This is retro as all hell to him. Wow. And even give life in the game. So, I think considering all of this, I think, uh... You know, there's so many things I just want to point out and say, but I can't really do that unless I make an entirely separate video and just dissect how retarded all of this is. What? You can't even put it on your real screen. And you gotta edit your bullshit in like that. Well, that that's not a microphone. That's a cam. And you know, why can't you just? He's using our mic. <laughs> he is. It is our microphone and background, but how okay. can the other two get like thousands of dollars of equipment and he gets the Logitech thing from thirty-five bucks? I know. And look, look, kid. Just record yourself talking if you really have to. Don't, don't throw into After Effects and color correct it so it's in like three hundred vision, and don't put a shitty fake vignette over it because I know you're using Magic Bullet. PS2 or the Wii. Uh, yeah, I, I really like the soft focus. It's like he's a 45-year-old actress trying yeah. to play attractive. For the YouTube video of the week, if this part is not out yet, then the annotation will either not be there. God, this is... Is that your hat, or has your hair just become that matted? <laughs> God, this is so overproduced. You don't need all this. What is it there for? Fusion Media Hub. Awesome. Fumin. <laughs> awesome fumin. Oh my god. Let's watch part two. Yes, let's watch part two of a different episode. Bum bum bum. <sighs> yeah, yes, yes, it is part two. Okay, welcome to episode 5.2. Can you feel <laughs> the love tonight? God, what? I always love it when we follow up our video game reviews with... A video game YouTube video. Yeah, it's very Where good. are your beverages? I know, what the hell? They have beverages in every other video. Yeah, I'm really happy you, you animated the YouTube logo in so many different transitions and shapes. It really makes me feel like I'm watching this soup. They didn't invent any of these, did they? No. Just YouTube animation. No. They probably just looked up a tutorial and just did it. Over four million views, so it is a very popular video. And you know, a lot of that is because it's four million views. You've probably already seen it since we got four hundred and eighty views. Oh yeah. Like, really? Do they think they're gonna make this video more popular? <sighs> Or is somebody gonna look up, get off that Xbox, and stumble on them? It's great as always to be recording with you again. It's been a while. Yes, it has been. I miss the laughter. A little shaky camera work here. He's heading downstairs, perhaps with a cell phone. You know what? If it's funny, just show it to us. It'll be funny on its own. Yeah. And you know... Prank. Uh... Yep. I know we're making fun of a YouTube video, but but it, at least it's slightly different than just showing somebody a YouTube video that isn't yours and then just dissecting it, doing a play-by-play. There's a difference between making fun of a YouTube video and narrating a YouTube video. Yeah. If I had started this by saying, oh, there's two guys, and uh, one's wearing a Lion King t-shirt, and they're going to show us a video. Both of them look like tools. <laughs> I know. Instantly. No, no, that that might be funny. Oh, so oh right. Like TNT. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Bunny. The bunny rabbit. Oh my god. Is it like a signature move or something? What? I don't know, but they're nicknaming children. <laughs> How is it right there? With vaguely fetishistic sort of epithets, and I'm uncomfortable right now. Uh. <laughs> One upset reason. Oh my goodness. You'd think the world was ending. Yeah, good job. This is the funniest shit ever. You this is hilarious. Me a kid getting oh, upset. It's that much more with a child, too. Uh -huh. It's just, it's ample. I love torturing children. <laughs> Watch them suffer. <laughs> yeah, so what? You again? Jacob. Jacob, get off the 360. This no, he's going to talk about the gameplay. Jacob's gameplay. <laughs> It's his job to critique how uh, Jacob was flying that ghost. <laughs> that is clearly not on your television. 
I know! You know it is I such think, a shit job! I think the best if you're gonna use After Effects, at, at least, least learn how to use it better than this. Like, Don't just download Magic like, Bullet and I use this soft sepia lighting preset. Why isn't the mic behind you turned on? It would capture your sound better than whatever you're actually using. I know! Um, I think it's gonna be quite fun. So, uh, yeah, overall this video, I mean... I give it... I just love it. I really I give it a 4.7 trophies. <laughs> and how's that kid gonna carry all those trophies home? I don't know. Nobody accepts their reviews, because nobody just wants to haul those big-ass trophies back home. <laughs> or they don't want to pay the shipping. Definitely a great popular How come this says World's Greatest Dad? <laughs> so, uh... Soccer participant. Thanks a lot, Fusion Media Hub 2.0. <laughs> well, we didn't say they were all going to be the same trophy. <laughs> we just go dumpster diving for old school trophies. Bye, Hugh. I love your overproduced crap. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> but hey, they don't just do their show. Oh no. They're all about the community. Yeah, the Let's Play community. Vroom. Oh man, they sprung for a ticket across the Atlantic. Why does he have a strange black aura around him? <clears throat> it definitely couldn't be, you know, fucking up green screen at all. No, no, that's just his American filth. The hell is color keying? For all of YouTube's up and coming elf years to show off their forthcoming projects. Plus, we at the FMN are sponsoring the. Could you? And this I video is a minute 44 seconds long. Could you at least remember what you're going to say without having to stare at a piece of paper and holding an <laughs> energy drink, you retards? RTS, it's all here. Something for you are not sponsored by a beverage company. Coca Cola is not going to give you 20 bucks on the slot. You may get to have a QA live with the actual LP. They can opt in for it, but most are doing a Q&A, so make sure you stick around for that. Oh man. Oh boy. Yeah, very true, and you can ask... They're usually so stuck up, and there's no avenue for communicating with them. Yeah, I know. Like, comment boxes on their videos or channel pages. Well guys, I won't hold you up any longer. So without further ado, welcome to RPC 2010. They literally made an E3 for Let's Play. And an epic countdown! <laughs> It's seriously gonna count down? Yeah, I, like, I, this was a stream they had, and a bunch of retarded YouTube Let's Players had trailers for new Let's Plays, and this is how they started the stream off. I watched almost the whole thing, and I kept asking them questions in the Q&A. Have you watched my LPs? They wouldn't answer. Sons of bitches. They're above you, okay? Uh, <laughs> Once Fusion Media Network, apparently 1.0, Picks you up. <laughs> There's no going back. Uh, I want to be in the next LPC. They want to. They want to have it be yearly. So you know what? I'm gonna get in the next LPC. I'm gonna make the oh, best yeah, trailer. I'll go live. I'll visit Hugh's place. Why not? Yeah. I'll be all over there. I'll, I'll color key myself into his bedroom. Uh, let's play convention. <laughs> <laughs> the dumbest idea.